Hi everyone, today I want to talk about western boots. I am not a cowgirl, I don't live in a ranch, I have no idea about what kind of western boots work best for work, but I do like the style and this is about that more than anything else. So I've had this for over a year. This is by Corral and this is the Wings and Cross tall boot and there's a link in my description and this comes in three colors so this is the brown one there's a black one with the red wings and cross and then there's a taupe or very beige kind of light tan color with a light turquoise light blue green cross and wings and also in the description are those links so the very first western boot i ever had was an ankle boot that was synthetic and if you are into vegan products or not real leather and at the same time it fits your budget better i totally understand that and i tried it and i went half a size bigger put really good insoles so that it would be comfortable and something about the actual boot itself was just so uncomfortable for me that it didn't even last three months and i probably only used it because at that time i was working for a department store i probably wore it once a week for a couple of months and then after that i realized i wasn't reaching out for it because it wasn't comfortable for me the insoles could not do anything for it so i let it go and the price of that one if i remember right was less than $60. And then the second one I had was also synthetic with beads, beautiful beadwork. But again, either it's the craftsmanship or the materials, the beads started to fall off and then the synthetic leather started peeling and I was not happy with it. So I think that one lasted also just for a couple of months. And that one, I think I got that from an outlet store for less than $40. So when I first saw real leather, beautiful boots, I hesitated because of the price difference. But then I thought, if I really like it and I'm gonna wear it for years, I'll try it. So I finally did last year and so I got this one. And this one is about, let me measure the heel for you. It's not very tall, it's about two inches. And I went half a size up and when I was trying it on at the store, I actually was told by the lady that it's good to have a little thug, but it shouldn't be too tight, that it feels too constricted. I don't know. It really depends on how you're going to wear it and what you're going to wear it with. And in Arizona, I'm in Arizona, it gets really hot here during the summer. So I knew that I was going to wear this more around the fall and winter with socks on. And so with that in mind, I said, okay, we'll go with a little thug when you pull it on, but not too tight because I'm still gonna wear socks and possibly thicker socks around the winter. And this worked for me. And I've had, like I said, I've had this for over a year. And in fact, one day, cause it's not supposed to be raining a lot in Arizona. We don't, I don't really plan on it. So one day it was, it was a winter day and it was kind of gray, whatever. I wore my boots and then it started to rain really badly. And <laughs> I accidentally stepped on really muddy area. And this was filled with mud. I, I was able to remove it. I looked, on, looked it up actually on YouTube, how to successfully remove the mud. And this guy was saying how, you know, you're supposed to, if, if the mud has already hardened, you know, you have to, like pounded on something hard but not too hard to ruin the boot but at the same time hard enough to shake off a lot of the hardened mud on the sole and it worked and i'll try to find the link and also add that to give him credit but what i'm saying is this is amazing yes i spent more than 60 dollars on this if you follow the link in my description where i got it from you will know that this is a lot more expensive than $60. However, having had this for over a year and it's still comfortable and it withstood the mud and rain test that was totally unexpected, I thought it was worth it. If this is your first time buying Western boots, I strongly suggest going to a store that sells different kinds and different brands and trying on as many as you possibly can because the different brands sometimes will mean that your size is different and then the toe shape so this is more narrow and this is Corral. For me, what works for me is going one half size up. I still get the thug when I try it on or put it on, 
and it's been over a year and there's still that but it fits just well enough that I can feel my toes still moving relaxed inside and I can wear socks and while you're trying it at the store there's no shame in looking at your phone and finding the best deals at least now you know what kind you like what brand you like what size you are in that brand or the shape right so I hope this video helps if you actually have a favorite brand or a favorite style please let me know I would love to hear about it and check it out until the next video thanks for watching